Hi, I'm Nicholas. In this video I will show you how to do a seed load with Comet Backup. I will be using the same computer for the server and client, but you would normally run a seed load for a customer with lots of data for the initial backup, so the way you transfer the data to your server may vary. Step 1. On the Comet Backup client, we need to create a new local path storage vault. To do this, go on the Account tab and then click Add Storage Vault and then click custom and I'm going to name this storage vault seed load and go to the storage tab now choose where you want to back up the data now, now I'm going to choose my external device here and save this will initially represent the seed device but later it will represent the remote device so make sure you do not delete this storage vault. Step 2. Perform a backup to the storage vault. In the backup tab here, choose the protected item that you want to seed load and then backup now. Okay, now choose the seed load device here and then back up to this seed load device. Alright, now we have successfully backed up the data to the seed load device and the next step is to bring that data to your Comet server. Okay, and now step 3. You should now have the seed load device at your server's location and now we need to move that data onto the storage role server. Open up the web interface for your server and log in. Alright, now we need to create a new bucket on our Comet server. Uh, to do this, we go to the storage tab and then click storage buckets. And over here you can see add new, and this will add a new bucket. And there we go, simple as that. And this new bucket is currently unused. Uh, it will be used soon, but if you have the constellation enabled to delete unused buckets, then the constellation may delete this bucket before the seed load process is finished. Uh, you should temporarily set the constellation option to prevent deleting the unused buckets and then re-enable it uh, only after the seed load process is complete. Okay, step 4. We need to navigate to the vaults data on the seed device and move the content into the new buckets data directory. So first of all I will open up the seed device here. This is where we backed up our data earlier. And now we want another one uh, we want to find the new bucket directory which is located here on my server and this is the bucket right here. By default this bucket's data directory will either be empty or only contain empty directories. Alright, so now we want to copy and then paste. Okay, and when you paste, if the paste operation warns you that files will be overridden, uh, do not continue, as this will probably be the wrong bucket. Okay, and that's it. Um, now, if you have cloud storage, you may want to upload this seed data to the cloud storage provider uh, with your internet, um, but in this example, I just used my own local uh, server storage. Alright, step 5. We want to go back to the Comet client. And we want to edit the storage vault settings to point to the new bucket. Go to the account tab. And this is our seed load storage vault we created earlier. Now we want to edit it to point to our new bucket. So grab the bucket ID here and then the grab the bucket key and then just put in the host name press save great that's done now feel free to rename the storage vault uh, customers vault 
and then we run it back up, make sure it works. Customers vault, perfect. Complete is successful. Great, that's what we want to see. And if we go back into the bucket, this is on the server, bucket data on the server. Um, and it, yeah, it should be all updated with the new data. Uh, okay, now that is how you do the seed load. Very simple process. I hope this video was helpful to you, and thank you for watching.